I'm Jenny McConnell. I'm a physiotherapist from Australia. I have a postgraduate diploma in manual therapy and a master's in biomedical engineering. I work in private practice. Uh, I was given a, a recognition by the Australian government where I was awarded an um, Order of Australia honour for services to physiotherapy in unloading pain and um, being able to help people with pain. When you think about the McConnell approach, what, we're, what I'm looking at is trying to make sure we identify where people start from before they start to move. So we're looking at trying to sort out the source of the patient's pain rather than just looking at where they're complaining of pain. So if they have knee pain, is it also because they've got internally rotated femurs? Is it because they've got pronated feet? If we don't look at other structures, then the pain will start to come back. And this is a really nice thing to do with patients who have pain in the body. We can really try and minimize the chance of the pain coming back. Same for the low back. If they're walking with a lot of uh, rotation in their spine, it may be that their hips are tight. If their hips are tight, this will mean that they have more movement in their lumbar spine, hence causing um, annular fibre tears, and therefore it's difficult for them to minimise that movement. So by loosening the hips, getting the gluteals working, then that will um, prevent the low back pain from coming back again. So it's really important that we can identify the starting position of the patient and also understand how you would unload pain because a patient is less likely to be cooperative with treatment if they have too much pain. With musculoskeletal problems, any musculoskeletal problem, you can use the McConnell approach because what you're doing is you're trying to really understand the patient's pain, unload their symptoms and then trying to identify the causative factors of that pain. So you can use that whether it be a shoulder problem, a neck problem, a headache, uh, if someone's had a whiplash injury, if someone has had uh, patellofemoral pain, osteoarthritis of the knee, low back pain, uh, if they've had a foot problem, all of these can be um, helped by unloading their pain and working out what their start position and showing the patient how to make sure that they're not staying in the end of range. If we have an idea of where the patient starts from, we'll have a better idea of how the patient will move. If we can do this, then we can empower the patient to self-manage. One of the helpful things with helping a patient self-manage is taking away their pain, showing them that if they improve the way they move, then it will decrease their symptoms. It is really important for us as therapists to make sure that a patient understands why they have the problem and then empower them to self-manage so the problem doesn't come back. So if they can do a little bit each day, always for the rest of their lives, like cleaning their teeth, then they won't have a problem recurring. And this is really helpful to minimise the chance of patients having musculoskeletal problems. So. When I started this um, McConnell approach, if you like, it started with the knee and I was more interested in looking at where the patella was starting from and looking at the interaction between the hip and the foot. But then it occurred to me that you could do the same thing to other joints, you could look at the shoulder, you could look at the low back and it seemed that the most important thing was to really think about the starting position as being a causative factor in the way someone moved. But very important for the patient is recognising that they have symptoms and we've got to take the patient out of their symptomatic condition so that they can really improve the way they are moving. Otherwise it's difficult for them to get compliant with their treatment. At the moment with physiotherapy there tends to be uh, a move particularly in English speaking countries towards a psychosocial approach with chronic pain. What has happened with physiotherapy is that we have tended to, to forget the bio part of the biopsychosocial. It is very important for us to realise 
that if a muscle's not working, then it's very hard for the muscle to start working if we just start thinking about trying to get the brain thinking differently about pain. We have to really promote different ways of looking at how we can get, help a patient get their muscle working to minimise their pain condition. New physiotherapists should remember that this is a fantastic profession. We are in a very privileged position to be able to be part of the patient's lives, to be able to put our hands on the patient and really never give up on a patient because there are many things that you can do. So if you are going in a direction for the patient where it is not helping, then try something else. There are so many ways that we can look at treating a patient that is helpful and it is really uh, something that we should never give up on that patient because there are lots of things that we can do that will be helpful.